Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby if you are new here and today I created this makeup look for you guys that I have wearing right now. I went ahead and used this like orangey red metallic shade on the center to inner part of my eye and I think it turned out really beautiful. I'm excited about it. If you guys are wondering what products I use throughout this video, they will be on the screen but they will also be linked in the description bar down below. You can hit like this little arrow that will be down there and it will pull out a whole description of the video and what I used in this video as well. Also down there, there's a like thumbs up little emoji go ahead and click that for me and then hit the red subscribe button and you will be subscribed to my channel if you want you can also hit the little bell icon and that will give you notifications every time I upload a video so you won't miss out and I think that's all I have for you guys if you guys want to see how I did this tutorial then go ahead and just keep watching and we'll get into it so the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my eyes using the hard candy primer then I'm gonna go in using my morphe m432 brush and some Master Conceal Concealer from Maybelline. And I'm going to start by outlining the underneath portion of my eyebrow. This is going to carve out my eyebrows, but it's also going to prime my eyelids for the color that we're going to be using. So you can see that I'm just applying this all over my eyelids and carving out my eyebrows. This covers up any veininess and also just sets the tone for the eyeshadows that are going to be going on top of it. And I'm pouting this out with a beauty blender or any damp sponge. This is the Real Technique sponge that you can get from Walmart or Target. And then I'm going to set it using my NYX Set It and Don't Fret It powder. I'm using this on a Morphe 438 brush just to set the whole entire base and get ready for those eyeshadows. Then going into my Morphe 350 palette on a Morphe 505 brush, I'm just going to take that shade and I'm going to buff this throughout the entire crease. I'm also keeping this a little bit higher on the crease so you can see it when my eyes are open as well. So I'm taking this shade and just running it along the whole entire crease from inner corner to outer corner. Then I'm switching to this more of an orange shade shadow and this is going to really brighten the whole look. So I'm basically going to be applying this right on top but this adds a whole warm tone to the look and it's going to really make the eyes pop. I'm just wiping this across from inner to outer corner just like before but with this brighter orange shade. Then I'm going to be going in with this shade right next to it, which is a little bit deeper of a color, and I'm going to be taking this on a smaller brush. This is the Coastal Scents BR-C-N06 brush. And you can see that this is not as fluffy. It's kind of more of a dense shadow brush. And I'm going to be applying this lower into the crease. And you can see that I'm really taking my time blending it into that shadow that we already have on there, but keeping it nice and precise and lower than the first shadow. Then I'm going to be going in with these two deeper shades, and this is on a Y22 brush. This is just a detailed pointer brush, and I'm going to be adding this to the outer corner to really deepen in that outer crease. So I'm connecting it to the lash line and then also running it throughout the crease. Then going back with that Morphe 505 brush, this is just a nice fluffy brush. I'm taking that orange shade and I'm just running it across the whole entire eye look just to make sure everything is blended and to add that pop of warm orange color to it as well. I added it to the lid as well, but we're going to be covering that up with a different shadow, so that's not really necessary. Just make sure that the orange is nice and blended. Then taking that Morphe 432 brush and that concealer again, I'm going to start carving out the inner portion of my eye. I'm really just doing this to make the orange shadow that we're going to put on top really pop, but I'm just taking this and carving out like a half cut crease. So you're going to carve out where your crease is and then fill in the rest of the portion with that concealer and this makes it nice and opaque and ready for that shadow. Then I'm going to be dipping into the darkest color in this Morphe 350 Shimmer Palette, which is really beautiful. I'm taking this on a Wet n Wild flat top brush and I'm just applying this everywhere that we just put that concealer. You, the concealer just added a base to brighten it up, but it's totally unnecessary, so if you want to skip that step, go ahead. I'm just using this really gorgeous burnt orange rusty color and applying this to the inner half of my eye. I think it's really beautiful and I never use colors like this, so it's nice and fun and different. I'm just taking my time to really make this nice and sharp and going back and forth a couple times to really make sure it's nice and packed on there. Then I'm taking the deepest shade from that palette again and I'm going to be using this all on the outer corner just to really deepen it up the look. I didn't think that it was enough on the outer corner so I'm just going in blending out that really deep color and blending it into that shadow as well. Once that's all blended out, then I just like to take a clean brush and go back and forth against all those colors and just make sure everything is nice and blended into the crease and there's no harsh lines. Then moving on to the face, I'm using this Milani Prime Shield Primer, which I really love. I'm just going to apply this to my nose, forehead, a little bit on my chin. This fills up any pores and keeps you matte all day, so I'm just applying this to my T-zone. Then going in with my 
Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I'm gonna give this a whirl today, and I'm gonna be just applying this with a spatula that comes with it onto my cheeks. And then I'm gonna be going in with my Real Technique sponge and blending it all out. I like to work in sections with this foundation because it does dry a little bit quickly, not too fast that you can't work with it, but I just like to work in sections just to make sure that it's not drying on me while I'm trying to blend it out. Again, if you guys saw my last tutorial with this foundation, I do really love the finish of it and I love the way that it looks on the skin, but again, it just clings to a little bit of my dry patches, so if you are someone that is nice and dry like me, just be aware of that. It is beautiful and I love that it is a more matte finish because I don't have a lot of those in my collection and I think it's really, really beautiful. So definitely something that you guys should check out at the drugstore, but just don't get your hopes up if you do have dry skin because it might cling to your patches a little bit. So I'm just applying this to my forehead, again, just blending it out with my Real Technique sponge and keeping it moving. Once that's all blended in, I'm going to go in with this Master Conceal Concealer from Maybelline. And I'm going to apply this just with my fingers underneath my eyes. As you can see, I don't use very much of this, but it blends out and covers so intensely. I love this concealer. You just have to be careful so you don't use too much and it cakes underneath your eyes. But it looks really beautiful and is nice and high coverage. So I'm just applying this a little bit on my chin, down my nose, and a little bit on my forehead as well. And blending this out with a Morphe... 173 brush. This is so similar to like a beauty blender on a stick. I really, really love this buffer brush. And it, since Sorry. I already did my eyeshadow, this really allows me to get nice and close in that inner corner and clean things up without messing up any of my eyeshadow. So I really, really love this brush. But then just to blend out a little bit further, I'm going to be taking my sponge to go over everything and make sure that my sponge soaks up any of that excess product because that concealer is so nice and full coverage and thick. I'm going to just pick up any of the excess products so it doesn't get cakey. To set my under eyes today, I'm going to be going in with that Morphe brush, which is the 435 brush, and I'm going to be using my CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Powder in the shade ivory I believe and I'm just going to be setting my under eyes this is really really beautiful it doesn't cause any cakiness or anything like that underneath my eyes then using just this wet and wild flat top brush I'm going to be setting my face using the NYC set it don't fret it powder which I used on my eyelids I'm just going to be using this all over my face and I use the stippling motion to really set the product rather than move the product around swiping motions can cause the product to move so I just like to pat it in so it will set in there then using my Real Techniques Sculpting Brush, I'm going to dip into my Shade & Lights Contour Palette from Kat Von D, and I'm going to be going in with the shade Shadow Play. As you can see, I'm going right along the cheekbones, and I'm just carving them out to make it look a little bit more snatched and contoured. Then to deepen up this contour a little bit, I'm going to be going in with my Morphe 458 brush. You can see how sharp of a line this creates, so I'm just applying a little bit of this of this color, and then I'm going to go back in with that sculpting brush from Real Techniques and really, really blend it out so I don't have a harsh line on my cheeks. Then so my contour isn't as intense, I'm going to be going in with this NYC Sunny Bronzer just on a wet and wild brush. And I'm just going to run this over my whole entire contour slash cheekbone area just to really warm up my skin and give me some color. I'm also applying this on the sides of my forehead to slim down my forehead as well. Then for blush today, I'm going to be going with my e.l.f. Blush Quad just on a Morphe E4 brush, which I love for blush. And I'm just going to be applying this to the apples of my cheeks and then blending everything out. Moving on to the lower lash line, I'm going to be taking this color on a Morphe Y22 pencil brush. This is kind of like the pencil definer brush that I used on the outer corner. And I'm going to be lining up the outer portion of my eyeshadow to my bottom lash line. And I'm bringing this all the way into almost the entire inner corner. I'm going to bring it in lower than my actual inner corner, but I'm basically running this completely from the outer corner of my eye to the inner corner of my eye on my lower lash line. And I'm also going a little bit further down than I normally do. 
And taking this warm shade, I'm just going to do the exact same thing just to really warm up and match the bottom lash line to the eye look that we have going on my, on my top lid. Then to further deepen things up, I'm going to be moving on to a more precise brush. This is the Morphe 508 brush, and this is a really sharp, small definer. I'm taking that really deep shade, and I'm going so close to the lash line on that bottom lash line. And then I'm also going to be taking this into the inner corner and making it really sharp and extended, but not all the way into the inner corner. I'm going right underneath that little lip right there, and I'm just dragging it in to make my eyes look more almond shaped. This isn't something that you necessarily have to do and it takes a little bit of practice so if you do want to do a look like this I recommend just sitting down practicing a little bit and experimenting with it because this technique is a little bit more tricky to do so you just need to practice with it. Then using that same brush I'm just going to clean it off and go in with this shimmer shade from the 350 shimmer palette. And I'm just going to apply this right underneath my brow bones which is really going to help give the illusion of a lifted brow and creating more lid space. Also because the shadows on the outer corner are matte, it's going to create a little bit more contrast between the two. So then I'm going to also apply this to the inner corners of my eyes. You can see right here that it's not as bright as I wanted it. It still brings some light to the inner corners, but it's not as dramatic. So I'm going in with the lightest shade in the palette, and this really makes a big difference. It brings all the attention to the inner corner of the eyes, and I really, really love the way that that looks. Next, I'm just going to curl my eyelashes and apply some of this mascara. This is a Super Sizer Mascara from CoverGirl. I love this stuff. I'm just going to apply this to my top and bottom lashes and pop on some falsies. Then I'm going to be going into my Jaclyn Hill and Becca collab palette, and I'm taking Prosecco Pop and Champagne Pop just on this Flawless Concealer Brush by e.l.f. And I'm just applying this to the high points of my cheekbone and then a little bit on my forehead as well, just to give me that highlight. For some reason, this camera did not pick up how strong this highlight is, but it's really, really intense and beautiful. Then for the lips, I'm going to use MAC Whirl Liner, and I'm just going to outline my lips like normal. And I really love MAC lip liners, in case you are wondering, because they are a little bit more stiff, so the formula stays on longer, in my opinion. And I just really like the way that they feel and comparable to really creamy liners. Then I'm going to be going in with this liquid lipstick from ColourPop, and this is in the shade Screenshot. I think this color is absolutely beautiful. It does dry a little bit darker than it is going on my lips, which you'll see in the video, but it's still a really pretty orangey nude color. And I really, really like the way that this turned out. I think it complements the eyes well, but doesn't overpower them. And I just really think it turned out beautiful. So this is the finished look, guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed watching this video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Thank you, guys. Bye.